Okay, we're going to kind of get into the, the meat of this, um, this class, the meat of this assignment, and that is using some of the tools that you turned on in the accessibility video and in the um, um, assistive touch video. And what we're going to do is we are going to ask you to do an assignment where you tell uh, your favorite childhood story and you take a screen recording of of that childhood story and that screen recording will be what you attach to this Google Classroom assignment. And so we're going to start by opening up the notes app starting a new note. Okay. Uh, anytime you open up notes and you can use any tool for this. Any tool that uh, brings up the keyboard you uh, um, you can use what we're going to use today which is dictation. <clears throat> You're gonna uh, the first line of any notes app is the title and so it'll be um, large bold font and so here's my story and what we're going to do is we're going to use dictation where you're going to speak your story. So we're going to, instead of type, we're going to speak it. And then we're going to do use a couple of different ways for um, students to proofread it. So here's the idea that our second graders are telling a story or writing a story. And uh, you want them to do it on uh, the iPad, but it takes them so long to type, to transfer from a piece of paper where they wrote it out to type it into uh, Pages or Keynote or Google Docs or Google Slides or Notes or whatever you decide to have them put it. Uh, so instead, what we want to do is we want to have them dictate it. But it's not just for um, our younger students. Any student who struggles to read and instead of looks at words holistically, uh, um, looks at them letter by letter when they're trying to type, it's just too much time and too difficult. So let's make this easier on them and let's uh, use dictation. So I'm just going to tap on this button and then the keyboard will go away and I'll be able to speak um, I'll be able to speak uh, my story. Done in the lower right hand side, I just tapped, there's the picture of the keyboard that brought the keyboard back. So this, you're going to come up with uh, a much longer story uh, than this, hopefully, at least uh, a paragraph. But then what uh, we can do is we can, uh, we can have this proofread to us in a couple of ways. And that first way is we turned on um, speak screen. And if you remember, if we take a, our two fingers at the border at the top of the iPad and swipe down, it should speak the screen. My story. This is my childhood story. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Jason. He loved to play soccer. So that was, remember, we downloaded the Alex voice. And uh, if you listen to Alex, he actually takes a breath. Even though he's pretty digital, he takes a breath after the word story. So it's about as lifelike as Apple has gotten so far. Uh, that Alex. So this is a way that we can have kids proofread their work. Instead of just uh, reading it out loud to themselves, they can have Alex read it to themselves. Another way that we found that you can have it read it to themselves is to use this great app called Voice Memos. Voice Memos is uh, right, it'll be right here when I pull up my, uh, and it allows you to do just that. Record your voice and um, uh, and read something and record your voice and then listen to it back. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the voice memos app and use split screen. So another way students can proofread their work is to listen to themselves reading it. So in split screen, I can hit the record button in the lower left hand side. My story. This is my childhood story. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Jason. He loved to play soccer. Now I'm done. Now I can go back and listen to that. So if the idea of listening to a digitized voice in Alex isn't so great, well then let's read it back to ourselves and proofread it through uh, voice memos. And now I can go back. My story. This is my childhood story. Once upon a time, there was a... Okay. So there are just a couple ways for the kids to write, 
for them to uh, proofread the writing. And as we know, when we're proofreading, if we have these awkward pauses and stops, well then something's wrong with our writing. And now we can go back and make changes to our story. So that is just a couple of things. So we used dictation, which we turned on earlier. We used um, speak screen, which we turned on earlier. And now we've added voice memos, all ways for students to uh, uh, get some kind of assistance when it comes to uh, writing, when it comes to proofreading, two ways for proofreading. And the iPad is great at doing all of that. <clears throat> Here is your job. After um, uh, your job is to come up with that story, tell that story, dictate that story to um, uh, to uh, in a note in the notes app, and then you don't have to do the voice memos. You just need to know voice memos is there. Instead, uh, when you're done, uh, do the um, read screen. Have have the iPad read the screen to you. To show us that you're doing that, I'm going to ask you to do a screen recording now. To turn on screen recording, you have to go to settings, and you have to go to what's called Control Center. Under Control Center, you'll see a bunch of things, and I believe we talked about this in an earlier video, a bunch of things that are in this menu. So if you swipe down from the upper right corner, that's our Control Center, and you'll notice that I'm recording this. So if you do not have screen recording in your Control Center, and you just go to the bottom, and find screen recording, hit the plus sign and move it up. <clears throat> then what you do is you tap and hold screen recording. Uh, it'll show that whether the microphone is on or off and then you hit start recording. And all again that we need you to do for this assignment is open up notes, uh, dictate your story, and then show that you uh, proofread it. Or you show that you have Alex proofread it by having um, iPad uh, read the screen back to you. And then, once you're done, well, you'll hit this stop button, and then you'll put that video in, attach that video uh, as your uh, hand-in for this Google Classroom assignment. Okay, thanks.